greatest heavyweight of all time. Of all time! Not the guy who used to say that. Not the guy that I might have misled you to thinking by just saying that. It's going to be Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, and his great trainer, Jack Blackburn. He, they were a great partnership. He was a great fighter, too. He didn't get his credit for it because he was around at a time when this country didn't treat black men, people, properly. Yeah. But Blackburn was a special guy. He was a black fighter that fought everybody. He didn't get a chance to fight a lot of fighters because he was black. Uh, didn't get a chance to fight a lot of white fighters that were up there. But he took his, after he retired as a fighter, he took his skills and what a trainer. What a special guy. He had as much, if not more, to do with the success of Joe Lewis than probably most trainers in this business. Some of them have more impact and effect on their pupil, on their protege, than others. Uh, Blackburn had a lot. Had a lot of impact on shoulders. He taught him to always be balanced. He was one of the most balanced fighters I ever saw, Ken. Always in position with his footwork. It wasn't an accident. Never out of position. And he was a great puncher with either hand. And he didn't waste anything. There was no space in between his punches. They were short, concise, explosive. And he was the greatest finisher maybe of all time in the heavyweight division. Not maybe. He was. He got you hurt. He got rid of you. He got you out of there. You didn't get a second chance. He was, his punches were in combination. They were short, body, head, powerful. He was calm, his demeanor, real calm all the time. Boy, oh boy. He corrected the mistakes along the way with Blackburn when he needed to. He lost the smelling on his way out up, and he got knocked out. And then after he won the title, he fought a rematch with Schmeling probably a couple years later, and he corrected the mistake. Schmeling had noticed that he was vulnerable to right hands, that sometimes Lewis laid his head on the right side after he jabbed in a pad to the right hand, and you could count him with the right hand. Smelly was a real, Smelly was a great fighter, and he was a real good puncher, accurate puncher, and he took advantage of that. The great famous saying from that fight, again, before the fight, where Smelly, a German fighter, said, I see something. I see something which I think I can obviously exploit. And he did see something. He saw what I just described, an opportunity to land a right hand against the undefeated Lewis. And like I said, Lewis corrected that. Blackburn corrected that. And after he won the title, he fought the rematch. And boy, oh boy, did he make up for that loss with the whole world watching. You talk about pressure. That's why Lewis is the greatest. You talk about pressure. You talk about pressure. You talk about pressure here. That to me is one of the best stories of a heavyweight fight. Just uh, during World War II, U.S. against uh, Germany, a black guy against a white guy. It was like you couldn't draw more divisive lines at those times. World War II, on the verge of World War II, with Hitler, a madman, trying to create a master race, take over the world, and you got Joe Lewis fighting somebody who's, Lewis has, who has, uh, Hitler has propped up as, you know, the image of the Nazi regime, you know, the superior race, all that crap, and, I mean, the whole world's watching the whole freaking world's watching. The president of the United States, I think it was Roosevelt, calls up Lewis and says, you got a witness for the good guys. I mean, you talk about pressure. And it's in Yankee Stadium outdoors. Oh, and the world's watching. Oh, my goodness. Where is there more pressure? And what is Lewis, how does he respond to it? He destroys him. He annihilates him. 
He knocks him out in one round. One brutal round. One round of torrential rain. Of brutal force and determination and focus. To the body. To the head. Oh, wow. Yeah, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, um, he earned the right from me to call him the greatest heavyweight of all time. 